All right, welcome back to part two of the tuning guide on EDC 16 and EDC 17 Bosch ECUs. So the great thing about Bosch ECUs is they're all pretty much the exact same. And what I mean by that is an EDC 16 will have will have all the pretty much same locations, same looking maps, same offsets come to all EDC 16 ECUs and all EDC 17 ECUs, the bar a few are pretty much all the same as well. So here we have a DDE uh, is a 6 or a 7 but pre pretty much it's, it's an EDC 17 Bosch ECU by BMW and uh, we're going to be looking at the boost uh, boost map, boost limiters and the single value boost limiter maps today. Uh, just one thing to note um, this is a 3 litre diesel file so the boost levels are quite high uh, like 1.6 bar and the other file we'll be looking at for boost is an EDC 16 C34 from a PD 1.9 <coughs> 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 and the boost on that is significantly less due to just the overall size of the turbo on the older 1.9 engines they pretty much have a limit I mean a single value boost limiter less than what the 3 litre diesel car boosts to uh, you know without any um, hesitation so just be mindful when you are remapping cars typically you could see about uh, you could see about a 5% Is safe now don't quote me on that but from my own experience uh, increasing these values by five percent more of the original values um, will always be safe um, and then eight percent is then a, a factor or an increase I see a lot of UK companies who kind of do remote files use they just throw eight percent over the boost map from like 20 milligrams and I don't know 1200 rpm so like here and across and 8% across this whole thing now from my own experience if you're remapping a PD 105 um, I highly recommend do not surpass uh, pretty much the single value boost limiter so you can increase your boost map to be in it at that level actually you could go to 2350 here and if I open my Excel sheet so I have a few tuning calculators here <coughs> I'll just show you guys if I can find it there it is so you can see right here uh, what's a 1.9 four cylinders so it equates to a volume uh, cylinder volume of 475 and let's say we wanted to inject well it's currently at 45 milligrams let's say we want to inject I don't know 60 uh, well that's way too high and uh, let's say we want to we want to achieve uh, I don't know an AFR of 16 we would need one bar boost so 60 milligrams you can achieve one bar boost let's say you want uh, 16 is actually a value that tuner is aimed for let's say like 17 so more a cleaner burn one point this is including atmospheric pressure so it's that this is actually 2140 so 2140 could be placed there change that to 60 and your boost map is then set to burn 60 milligrams of fuel and an AF4 of 17 um, this is a great little calculator um, it then has a few other things like I have injection duration calculators um, you can just copy and paste values in and it just it divides the ejection amount by the length and then you get this you see this factor changing anyways I'm getting completely off topic but that's just to also show um, the boost levels and the correct boost levels to talk about and not to surpass them because you will blow up a turbo um, <coughs> so I don't think I mentioned this EDC 17 ECUs 
and 16 ECUs are very similar. So I'll close the SVBL. So here's the BMW F10 3 liter diesel file. And I'm going to then go here and go to this boost map. And you can see the resemblance is pretty much their EDC 17 boost maps are a lot longer. So that's 16 by 16. This is only a, a 10 by 16. So they're a bit shorter, but kind of the, the squiggles are kind of similar, not that similar to be honest. Now that I'm actually looking at them side by side, but that's what they look like. There's another boost map. EDC 17 ECUs will have a crap ton of boost maps. Many of those are not active. So what I mean by that is you have to pay attention to the maps you're looking at. So for example, um, if I click on this, we can see it has quite a high. So this is oh, the top for bo all boost maps. For all boost maps, it is always the Y axis. For EDC 17 is 0.5. So there's our RPM. And then our X axis is our 0 0.01 with a precision of one is our injection quant injected quantity, right? So we have 75 milligrams of fuel. And uh, we can actually just, we could calculate the AFR that that's aiming for. We could do that, just out of curiosity. Let's see what it's aiming for. So it's 75, it's a three liter, it's inline six. Uh, so it's peaks at 2.6. So it's aiming for about 17.5, I'd say. Yeah. So with 75 milligrams and two or 1.6 bar of boost, it's achieving an AFR of 17.5, which is pretty much a clean burn, which obviously is a standard file. That's to be expected. PD engine, however, like smoke. The tuning actually is very rich in the sense that this is a lot more fuel than air for PDs. That's why they actually smoke pretty heavily, even standard, and then when you map them, they get even worse. But EDC and more refined cars, EDC 17s and uh, common rail engines are just a lot cleaner because they can actually boost high enough to burn the, the, the fuel completely. But here's a boost map, but here's an active one. And I'll just show you what I mean by that. So if I go to this next one, same boost. This is slightly lower, but the boost level is even higher. So this is an even is less fuel and more boost, so it's even cleaner of a burn. Uh, it's the same. So they're, they're, these are all active maps. So I mean by that is they, they they would be maps you'd be modifying to do a remap. And here's a boost limiter. No. Nope. So this is what I mean. So this is a boost map, but we can see it's only injecting 60 milligrams and it's only boosting to one bar. This is what you call an, an inactive map. It's a map that you wouldn't touch during during a tune. And I'll go on again, there's another boost map, similar. You wouldn't touch that for tuning. It's kind of a, a full, a more of a full size one. That's an active map. That's an active map. Inactive map. A active map. Active map. These are boost limiter. So then you can see boost limiter is something you also have to modify on. <coughs> God. <clears throat> so this section right here, it might be a bit confusing to look at, but again, for the y-axis, we have our RPM. So pretty much, kick, it only kicks in 1,000 RPM. Why? It's because there's pretty much no boost being created. Pre-1,000 is only 1,000 on. It's kind of creating boost. So you can see even at 1,000 RPM, at 600 
millibars along the strip pressure so this is basically you're up in the you're up deep in the mountains pretty high up um at a thousand rpm it's going to limit you at pretty much atmospheric pressure whereas you have you're at sea level my god it's going to limit you at 0 0.5 0 0.5 bar of boost and then you can see when you're around 2500 you're pretty much on boost you're accelerating uh, it's at its peak of 2660 now this is our boost limiter you can see even after boost limiter there's even more boost maps but we'll just go to this boost map here that we edited in the first place so you can see you need to pay attention to these numbers because the boost map here is only asking for what 2610 for a, a brief moment only for 500 rpm which you, you'll you'll breeze over pretty quickly when you're driving your car um so it's peak boost right there right for 70 milligrams as well and it's not seen anywhere else it's li that is literally our peak boost and then you can see for our boost limiter for up until pretty much high nines to a thousand millibars of atmosphere pressure there's not boost being created this is the this is the pressure around you the outside it has a boost limiter limitation of 2660 so it's 50 mill there's a 50 millibar difference because it has to because this is the limiter right this is this is the area where if the turbo then surpasses this it's going to start dropping the duty cycle for the actuator to open the veins and to create less boost and it's going to constantly open close open close regulating to keep it below this level um and just to mention edc 17 ecus do not have a single value boost limiter what a single value boost limiter is is uh i'll show you this is the edc 16 ecu back to the pd engine we have one map one boost map a second boost map <laughs> a second boost map the boost limiter and then we have a svbl a single value boost limiter so there's two maps in this car compared to i don't know the f 10 to 11 that are here i'm not even going to count but th that just shows the difference in complexity and in edc 16 ecu there are no such thing as inactive well there is there is no such thing as, as inactive boost maps in edc 16 ecu so the ones you find are the ones that you use so again iq on the top the factor of 0 0.01 the factor of one and uh, precision of winding here's boost map one boost map two uh, i'll leave that open just to compare the boost limiter with so you can see 2650 2660 so that had the reason why I believe there's less of a uh, okay uh, less of a difference like it's only 10 mil 10 millibars where that was what 60 millibars with EDC, EDC 17 is because that kind of has to have that big difference because it doesn't have a single value boost limiter what a single value boost limiter is is that if that car hits this value you have a saved right here Two three fifty. If the car, if the car's boost hits this this figure at any stage, even if it blips at it for a second, the car will drop into limp mode, and it will shut the turbo off. Um, it does that by then creating zero vacuum. It just shuts the vacuum or redirects the vacuum, so your actuator is just it's the the turbo the veins are fully open, so it can't create any boost if it hits this level. When you're remapping. Even for this PD, you'd want to pretty much increase that to 2400 and leave it at that. Because again, the turbos for PD pretty much max out at 1.4 bar. So this is pretty much just under the turbos max. Um, and it's always after. So here's your boost limiter. So if you look right after, there's a little blip. Tiny little blip here. I can zoom in there. No, you can I could kind of being covered up by that little grey that I, I kind of created a map there but there's little 
dip and I'm actually gonna show you what I mean by that. You can see there it's two two five oh two two five oh two two five oh two 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 three five oh zero zero. So that two three five oh is our single value boost limiter. It's hidden away, tucked away. Um but that's a single value boost limiter. Uh, so I'll leave that open. So there's a booster. I'm gonna unzoom here. So 